Proto-Indo-European society is the hypothesized culture of the ancient speakers of Proto-Indo-European, ancestors of all modern Indo-European ethnic groups who are speakers of Indo-European languages. Theories about the culture are based primarily on linguistics and not ethnic, social, or cultural study, as the origin of Indo-European and their Urheimat is still debated. There is no direct evidence of the nature of a Proto-Indo-European society as such. Any conclusions in this article or otherwise are only purely linguistic inferences, and not established facts. Scientific approaches Much of our modern ideas in this field involve the unsettled Indo-European homeland debate about the precise origins of the language itself. There are three main approaches researchers have employed in their attempts to study this culture, but all are subject to resolution of the debate and all are the subject of criticism. Archaeology, interpretations that are based on archaeological evidence. Comparative linguistics, interpretations that are based on the comparative analysis of the languages of historically known societies see trifunctional hypothesis. Linguistic reconstruction, interpretations that are based on the reconstruction and identification of words those cited asterisk thus on this page, with a preceding asterisk which formed part of the vocabulary of the Proto-Indo-European language. These are reconstructed on the basis of sounds, not meaning. Exactly what these terms may have referred to at the stage of Proto-Indo-European is therefore less certain. The technique of inferring culture from such reconstructions is known as linguistic paleontology. What follows in this page are interpretations based only on the assumption of the Kurgan hypothesis of Indo European origins, and are by no means universally accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Societal structure Whether these people regarded themselves as a linguistic or ethnic community cannot be known, nor by which name they may have referred to themselves. Linguistics has allowed the reliable reconstruction of a large number of words relating to kinship relations. These all agree in exhibiting a patriarchal, patrilocal and patrilineal social fabric. Patrilocality is confirmed by lexical evidence, including the word asterisk h 2 u f to lead away being the word that denotes a male wedding a female but not vice versa. It is also the dominant pattern in historical i.e. societies, and matrilocality would be unlikely in a patrilineal society. Inferences have been made for sacral kingship, suggesting the tribal chief at the same time assumed the role of high priest. Georges Dumézel suggested for Proto-Indo-European society a threefold division of a clerical class, a warrior class and a class of farmers or husbandmen, on his interpretations that many historically known groups speaking Indo-European languages show such a division, but Dumézel's approach has been widely criticized. If there was a separate class of warriors, it probably consisted of single young men. They would have followed a separate warrior code unacceptable in the society outside their peer group. Traces of initiation rites in several Indo-European societies e.g. early Slav, Volsi, Nori and their lupine ritualism suggest that this group identified itself with wolves or dogs see berserker, werewolf, wild hunt. The people were organized in settlements asterisk weeks, Sanskrit vis, Polish wise, village, ancient Greek woikos, home, Latin vicus, probably each with its chief asterisk h regs, Sanskrit Rajan, Latin Rex, Reg, Gaulish Rex. These settlements or villages were further divided in households asterisk domos, Latin domus, Polish dom, each headed by a patriarch asterisk dems potes, ancient Greek despotes, Sanskrit dampati, Polish pan domu. Technology Technologically, linguistic reconstruction suggests a culture of the Bronze Age. Words for bronze can be reconstructed from Germanic, Italic, and Indo Iranian, while no word for iron can be dated to the proto language. Gold and silver were known. An asterisk n, cis Vedic Sanskrit asi, Latin ensis was a bladed weapon, originally a dagger of bronze or in earliest times, of bone. An asterisk ikmos was a spear or similar pointed weapon. Words for axe include asterisk h egg sih Germanic, Greek, Italic and asterisk peliku Vedic Sanskrit parasu, Greek pelicus, these could have been either of stone or of bronze. 
The wheel asterisk k e gloss Vedic Sanskrit kakra Greek kuklos Old English h w e o l Serbo Croatian kolo or asterisk roth a Vedic Sanskrit rotha German rad Latin roda was known certainly for ox drawn carts. The wheel was probably not invented by the Proto Indo Europeans, but the word asterisk k e gloss is a native derivation of the root asterisk k l to turn rather than a borrowing, suggesting that the Pi speaker's contact with the people who introduced the wheel to them was short. Horse-drawn chariots developed after the breakup of the Proto-language, originating with the Proto-Indo-Iranians around 2000 BC. Judging by the vocabulary, techniques of weaving, plating, tying knots etc. were important and well-developed and used for textile production as well as for baskets, fences, walls etc. Subsistence Proto-Indo-European society depended on animal husbandry. People valued cattle asterisk peku, Vedic Sanskrit pasu, Latin pecu asterisk gus, Sanskrit go, Latin bo as their most important animals, measuring a man's wealth by the number of cows he owned Latin pecunia money from pecus. Sheep asterisk h -awis and goats asterisk g were also kept, presumably by the less wealthy. Agriculture and catching fish piscos also featured, the domestication of the horse asterisk h equos, Vedic Sanskrit asvas, Latin equus, Greek hippos see tarpon may have originated with these peoples. Scholars sometimes invoke this as a factor contributing to their rapid expansion. <laughs> Ritual and sacrifice They practiced a polytheistic religion centered on sacrificial rites, probably administered by a class of priests or shamans. Animals were slaughtered and dedicated to the gods in the hope of winning their favor. The king as the high priest would have been the central figure in establishing favorable relations with the other world. The Kurgan hypothesis suggests burials in barrows or tomb chambers. Important leaders would have been buried with their belongings, and possibly also with members of their household or wives sati. The practice of human sacrifice is inferred from the Luhansk sacrificial site. <laughs> <laughs> Names The use of two-word compound words for personal names, typically but not always ascribing some noble or heroic feat to their bearer, is so common in Indo-European languages that it seems certainly inherited. These names are often of the class of compound words that in Sanskrit are called bahuvrihi compounds. They are found in the Celtic region Dumnorix, king of the world, in Indo-Aryan Asvaosa, tamer of horses, in Iranian Vishtaspa, possessing horses untied for racing. In Hellenic Socrates, good ruler. In Slavic Vladimir, ruler of the world. In Germanic Godgifu, gift of God. And in Anatolian Piyama Radu, gift of the devotee. Patronymics such as Gustafsson, son of Gustav. Rostamzade, son of Rostam. Yusufzai, son of Yusuf. Hakopian, son of Hakop. And McDonnell, son of Donald are also frequently encountered in Indo-European languages. Philosophy Some words connected with Pi world view Asterisk G. Osti concerned mutual obligations between people and between worshippers and gods, and from which guest and host are derived. Asterisk H. R. 2. Asterisk H. R. 2. A cosmic, ethical, and social right order of being, that which is fitting, right, ordered. Also, right time, ritually correct, revealing the harmony and order of the world Avestan Asha, Vedic Sanskrit RDA, Artu, Latin Ritus, etc. References Bibliography <references> 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 Fortson I.V., Benjamin W. 2004. Indo-European Language and Culture. Blackwell Publishing. pp. 16-44. ISBN 1-4051-0316-7. Stuber, Karen 2007. Die Stelling der Frau, Spuren Indogermanischer Gesellschaftsordnung in der Sprache. In Scherer, K. Spuren Lassen. Chronos. 
pp. 97–115. ISBN 978-3-0340-0879-2. In German. <laughs>